recently the Lions got great news uh, regarding the draft, and nobody's really talking about it. And, you know, I like to come on here and check myself here. Am I crazy? Like, am I crazy that this isn't a bigger deal? This is great news about the draft, and we're not really talking about it, so I'll get right into it. Let's look at where we pick. We know we pick six. That's our question mark because quarterback, we don't need a quarterback, or do we? Craig did a video recently on that. Maybe we take quarterback and maybe we don't. But it's like, ah, do we take corner there? I don't like that. I don't like running back. Recently, Mel Kuyper came out and said that he thinks we can get um, – he, he comes out and says, yeah, we can get Jalen Carter at six. It's like, what? Jalen Carter at six would be perfect. And the good news about this is that he thinks co- uh, quarterbacks are going to go one, two, three, and five. Four quarterbacks ahead of us. That would give us Jalen Carter. And the beautiful thing is Jalen Carter, he's had some um, things go on with his pro day. Wasn't great. He's got some legal stuff going on that's not great, not terrible. Kind of depends on how you view that and what you want to do there and what the Lions want to do. But Jalen Carter to us would be incredible. This was a guy that was in, picked or thought to be picked number one. Is a first, second round or draft pick, overall draft pick all last year. And now as we get closer to the draft, and you can see here we're 33 days, three hours. Thank you, Tankathon, for the countdown. We're getting closer to the draft, but we're still a long way away. So what happens, and you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. What happens is guys move up and down the board just for no reason at all. And like Jalen Carter, we've just been saying his name so much. And really, if you when you're picking six, there's only a handful of guys to talk about. So you go up and down. All of a sudden, it's like, well, hello, Jalen Carter is a real possibility for us. And that would be huge. Fills a need. Best player available at number six. And yet... We're talking quarterback. We're talking corner. Why are we not talking about Jalen Carter more? And just being like, that's the guy. Take it. Done. Boom. Love it. He's 6'3", 314 pounds. And it says here, people were considering him the number one overall pick at points this past season. Now, he had a couple of, like I said, he had some legal stuff. His pro day wasn't great. Didn't do stuff at the combine. He is really good. And so even Mel Kuyper says it here. But did you watch this defense last season referring to the Lions? We're not going to get a signal caller. We're not going to get a quarter. You know, we we, we addressed corners. We don't need a We don't need a quarterback. There's an argument to be said for six. If the right guy's there, I get it. But at the same time, we got to get better defensively because we are naturally going to get better. But if we've got a guy that can be in there, we can really do that. So Tate Carter, who had a troubled few months of the last couple of weeks. We've been kind of kind of tough on him. Whatever. Who cares? This guy is no longer in the pick in the mix to be pick number one, but he could fall to us. And this is huge. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is Jalen Carter just because of all the things that are going on? You know, it's like whatever, up, down, who who knows really where he's gonna fall. You haven't been paying attention to the fact that we have a real possibility of grabbing him, grabbing him when the quarterback goes one, quarterback goes two, quarterback goes four and five. And who knows who might want to trade? I mean, there's so many possibilities that we get a player that we never thought we'd get in Jalen Carter. So I think we have a really good opportunity to get him. Chicago, of course, got out of there. They're, they don't need a quarterback. So there's going to be a quarterback up here. So let me know your thoughts in the comments on that, because our defense all of a sudden has a chance to go from really bad in the beginning of the year to much improved the last half of last year to a good defense. And we need, if we're talking run into the playoffs, winning the division, making a run home playoff game, getting to the Super Bowl, a like, let's calm down on that because that's, that's tough. We don't have, We didn't have the players defensively to do that. Now, all of a sudden, you've got C.J. Gardner-Johnson, playmaker, a baller up back there. You've got our two corners that all of a sudden make us different. Emmanuel Mosley, Cameron Sutton, some ballers. Now you get a defensive tackle, biggest need. Okay, now Aiden Hutchinson. So all of a sudden, you go from a year ago not having any playmakers, no, no dudes on the defensive side of the ball, to having one, two, three, four, five 
Malcolm Rodriguez, what if he keeps getting better? I don't know what his ceiling is, but now you've got five studs defensively. Now you can talk a little more. Again, it feels weird to even talk about Super Bowl, but you know what I'm saying? You can actually even have that conversation. Offensively, St. Brown, stud. Jamison Williams could be a stud. Offensive line, got two or three guys there that are just studs. Goff's good enough. Running back, if you add Bijan, if he's sticking around later in the first round. Now you got play you you cannot win a suit when when i whenever i watch the super bowl every year it's like all right there's just dudes there's just outliers there's three or four of them on either side of the ball that's that's what you need in order to get to the super bowl make a late run guys that can go above the x's and all make x's and o's make a play and so now with jalen carter man i just i know what's been talked about my point is it's a really, really real possibility to get Jalen Carter at six. I love that because it fills a need, adds another dude. Now, all of a sudden, you've got eight dudes on your team. Remember when we had Matt Patricia? I always talk about it. I swear I'll shut up about Matt Patricia, but it's so bad that I can't help but talk about it. Matt Patricia, Bob Quinn era, we had no dudes. You had Jamie Collins. You had, I mean, just... And then the dudes you did have, you traded away. And they just thought, hey, we're smarter than everybody. We will make it work. I'm Matt Patricia. It's like, no. Now what you have is a really smart coach, really smart offensive and defensive coordinator, a good culture, really good like baseline of players, and then you've got the dudes coming out. So I just think if we can get Jalen Carter, it gets real. I mean, it really gets like, okay, this gets real. Versus a quarterback, that doesn't really help us right away. A cornerback, we don't really need. A running back, it's too high. A offensive lineman, it's a depth piece at this point. Wide receiver like Quentin Johnson, Johnston, Johnson. That's a little too high for him. He's really good, but he's not great. So you're kind of caught in between, and then you start looking at the defensive ends, the Tyree Wilsons. Maybe he's good. Maybe he's not. We don't really need a defensive end to come in, really be a, a piece for us because we have Charles Harris, the Quara brothers, Hutchinson, um, James Houston, of course. So Jalen Carter would just be perfect. It would be perfect at, at six. Then at 18 and stuff, you can, do, you can get weird and, you know, just find a, de- a really good player. It doesn't matter. But this fills a, a need and it fills um, best player available that is literally like the best player in the draft. And we would we would get him at six. So cross our fingers there. That'd be awesome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This is huge news that, man, we're one step away. If we can get this guy, it'd be huge for our Super Bowl run and aspirations. Hard to believe we're even talking about that, but I love it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and see you on the next one.